Hello, my name is Timothy Hoffman, and my topic today is nurse burnout. What is nurse burnout? Nurse burnout is a state of mental, physical, and emotional exhaustion caused by work-related stressors. As nurses continue to experience more work-related stressors, they start to compound and can cause the nurse to feel disengaged and detached and leading to worsening symptoms with prolonged exposure. Nurse burnout is a major event that is happening all over the world. And in this PowerPoint, we are gonna cover the causes of nurse burnout, how nurse burnout affects the patients, and how nurses and leadership can help prevent and solve nurse burnout. Causes of nurse burnout. Like stated before, Nurse burnout is caused by prolonged exposure to work-related stress. There are many different stressors that can cause nurse burnout, list, just as listed on the picture on the slide. Some of the major stressors, though, are working long hours, high work stress, poor patient ratios, and lack of support for nurses and staff. Long hours is a major stressor for nurses. Nurses work 12 hour shifts, usually three times a week at the bare minimum. Lately, there's been a massive nursing shortage. This has caused there to be a need in nurses to pick up extra hours to cover these missing staff. At times, hospitals that are unable to get their staff to work enough overtime to cover these openings, they put into place mandatory overtime. This has caused a nurse to become more exhausted due to the decreased number of days to rest. Also, the increase in hours can cause nurses to make more mistakes because they are so mentally exhausted. Another major stressor is high work stress. Every nursing specialty brings its own different type of stress, but some specialties are more stressful than others. The units with the highest levels of stress tend to be the emergency room, the intensive care unit, and even the telemetry unit. These units must deal with combative patients, traumatic events, ethical dilemmas, and even high death rates. These all can cause a huge strain on the nurse and that are exposed to these every day. Poor patient ratios are another major cause of stress for nurses. Nurses are tasked in taking care of a group of patients. Every unit though has different levels of care the patients need. And the nurse's number of patients assigned corresponds with this level of care. Lately though, with the nursing shortage, it has caused hospitals to give a greater number of patients to nurses to cover the holes of missing staff. This has caused there to be an unsafe number of patients being assigned to nurses and leading to be more errors and poorer patient outcomes. In some hospitals, you're seeing up to eight patients being assigned to a nurse for a med surge floor and ICUs they are being assigned three to one or even four to one, and it doesn't matter if they're vented or not, and this is just completely unsafe. Lack of support is a major stressor and can cause nurse burnout. Support is a major deal in the nursing profession. Everyone must work together as a team to be able to provide great care to the patient. If a workplace lacks a culture of good teamwork and collaboration, then burnout will happen more often. This is because nurses rely on one another to be able to provide great care to the patient because nursing is not just a one person job. We support one another in both physical and mental care and support. Leadership is also a major deal in supporting the staff. If they are not supporting the nursing team and are not making active changes to help staff, then this can also lead to an increase of nursing burnout. This is seen in hospitals during the pandemic who did not support their staff enough with providing PPE, mental health support, or just in general being there to support their team. 
these hospitals are now seeing nurses leaving in large amounts because they were so burnt out by the end. How does nurse burnout impact the patients? This is a crucial thing to be able to look into and try to fix. This is because nurses who are experiencing nurse burnout tend to provide worse care due to their condition. This is because nurses are so worn out that they are more likely to make mistakes with providing medications because they're just so exhausted that their brains aren't working as well as they would if they were properly rested. This also can lead to more infections lower ratings and higher mortality for patients because you're not providing care at your best. You're not thinking of all the little details of when you put in a catheter or when you're giving a medication, you're just trying to survive and get the job done. Nurses are also more likely to make mistakes because they're burnt out. And like I said before, they are not taking the same caution as they would if they were normal. This is not on the nurse. This is just on the fact that they just cannot function at the same level as they were if they were actually resting properly. How can nurses help prevent burnout? There are many ways nurses can help prevent burnout for themselves and others. One way is by reducing the number of hours worked every day. There has been an argument on reducing shifts from 12 hours to 8 hours. This is shown in decrease in fatigue because people are working less longer hours and they have more time in the day for themselves to rest. Also, avoiding working too much overtime when they're unable to and advocating for a schedule that allows you to have time for yourself is a major thing. Like I said before, there is mandatory overtime, but at the same time, if you're working at a place that's making you work too much and that you are not being healthy yourself, that might not just be the place for you. Also, make sure you're taking breaks during the day. Working a full eight to 12 hour shift without taking a break is a huge toll on you and your body. By making sure you take that 30 minute break and giving yourself that mental like self cleanse, then you'll be able to provide better care for yourself and better care for your patient. Seeking out support when you need it is a crucial thing. Healthcare is not a single person's job. We work as a team and we need to support each other as a team. So it's important to reach out to a counselor and anybody you need. Also changing specialties if, you're if it's too stressful is important. If you are experiencing too much stress in the ICU, switch to a different specialty. That might just save you in the long run. Also, having safe and effective coping methods is important to being a good nurse. Leadership can prevent nurse burnout because they play a major role in the care that we provide. They can improve retention with the staff by involving themselves with the staff and finding out how they can improve work conditions. Also, by increasing supportive measures that staff for staff that are burnt out such as free counseling, supportive groups, and holding events to improve work environment. Working towards improving safer nurse to patient ratios is also an important thing leadership needs to do. And involving staff with scheduling, like I stated before, if your staff can be involved in the scheduling, they'll be happier because they can plan out days for breaks. Nurse burnout is such an important thing to cover. There is so much going on with this topic of nurse burnout. This topic does not have a clear picture on what to do for staff and will probably take a long time to try to improve. Leadership and nurses will need to continue to try to improve themselves and their work environments to try to help with nurse burnout in the future. This is why it is so important to know the causes of nurse burnout and how it affects the patient and how we can try to prevent future burnout with nurses. Thank you very much for watching this presentation and listening. And here are my references for the presentation.